This first story I want to take us back to about 2002 where we really look at one of the first videos we did as a company and the impact it had on me and what it meant right after this. Hi, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And in this series, we're gonna be talking about like backstories of videos that really stuck out throughout the 20 years. And I wanna start off with a video we did for my friend Agape, who's a, hip, a Christian hip hop artist based out of Minneapolis and his company at that time, Hip Hop Outreach. And I've known Agape, or Dave Shear, his real name, uh, for almost as long as I've, I've been in an organization. We kind of both started out in our respective careers at the same time. And when I went out on my own, he just released, I think, his second or third CD, and he wanted to create a video that went alongside it. Um, kind of like a, a multimedia release, something that was new back at the turn of the century. I mean, this is 2002 we're talking about. And so he wanted this video to accompany the CD he was releasing. And he had footage that was created of interviews and such. And what he was asking me to do was to create like a five to eight minute video uh, about his story, about his journey, and about hearing uh, uh, from his friends and family. Uh, it's like a testimonial video that went along with basically the story of the songs that were within the CD as well. And so that was a kind of a, when he asked me to take that on, it was on the cusp of, I don't want to say tragic, but it was a situation that was very very hard on me at that time because I was uh, just getting out of a breakup with my first fiance. It was not a real pleasant time, <laughs> obviously, but when he gave me this, this assignment, one of the first big ones of the company, uh, because I had started it just about nine months prior, I really dove in, really dove into this, really took what was given to me, which was a lot of, you know, like three, it was a three camera interviews, all this other stuff and all this, all these, this media that I'd never seen before. And so with that, I had at that point in time, because this is, you know, me starting out, I just had a laptop, well, like a iBook G3 um, with the editing software on there. And, and I'm sitting here, putting together three camera interviews, syncing all the sound, syncing all this imagery, and all the while, my personal life feels like it's just exploding, it's just blowing up. And it was just one of those situations where um, that, you know, the situation of going through um, the breakup with my, my uh, first fiance, managed to manifest itself into my creativity and was able to really focus on what was going on here. And what ended up happening with that was something I didn't expect. I, what I did with the video, I, I really liked how it turned out. Um, I mean, I just went all out with what I felt was what we what needed to happen with the stuff that I didn't shoot and had to make do with what was there, and I I sent it out di different places, and every pl for awards or submissions I submitted it to all these places, and every place I submitted it to won an award. Um, it, and this is a national this was national awards, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Um, and it, you know, and high marks for this and that. And um, I, I was really pleased with the outcome of that because of where, what this project came out of, um, where, where my mindset was 
when I sat down to do it. And it, you know, 20 years later, or let, yeah, 19, 20 years later, it's still one of the th most favorite things that I was able to do because of the fact that I had very little to work with as in technology. Um, and the things I was able to create and the fact that it was lauded over by a national audience that voted it one of the best that they saw in the category that it was put in was really uh, awesome to me. And so, therefore, it really solidified the fact that I know where my place is, I know what I'm supposed to do, and the fact that even the outside world can't really stop the creativity that can happen in a moment. And you gotta take those moments as they come, and I'll never, never forget how that made me feel and how it came out, even all these years later. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next story, as one will be coming out once a month. Um, thanks for staying with us, and don't forget to subscribe to the email newsletter. If you'd rather not get email, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See more there. See you next time.